All right, this is Chris here in the tractor. Uh, everybody else is hauling manure. Be looking for that video. I'm sure you'll see it about the same time. I am disking. So I have the 8370RT, and I'm just disking up some potato field vines that we're gonna work. We're gonna haul manure on next year. One second while I turn around. And I just wanted to show you, so I'm running the Reuben 12 disc. Um, I believe it is the six meter. Um, I have my GPS set on about 19 feet. So it gets a little bit overlap. But as you can see, it's just a potato field one that we just harvested. And I just wanted to show you how good of a job that this disc is doing, disking up this, this field. So I'll go down the pass right here. I just turned GPS on and I will show you, as soon as we sit this down, and I'm able to go, you know, I'm not going super deep, just working in the vines, maybe like five, six inches deep. Um, but I will show you how, if you look behind the disc, if you can see it, how well it's working up that ground. Um, it's just doing a phenomenal job. And uh, basically once, once we get done with the fields, you about can't tell that there was potatoes or anything in them. It just looks like a worked up clean field. So, uh, anyway, really love the Lemkin equipment. This Reuben 12 is doing a really good job. Um, occasionally it will push some potato vines, but today, as you can see, we got a little bit of moisture. It's a little cooler today. And uh, so the vines are, are not flying around. They're not light. They're heavier, so they don't uh, build up and push. It's just doing a good job working up that ground. Obviously, the neighbor's dog likes it too. So. We'll try to avoid him. But yeah, so that's one of the jobs that uh, has got to be done. I know my dad's in the chisel plow. He's got like, oh shoot, 2,500 acres to chisel plow left probably. And I've got about a thousand acres to disc. So that's what we're doing today. They're hauling manure. Uh, we had a couple loaders go down. They're supposed to come fix them today. So again, good service. Uh, is where you make the sales. All right, guys, hey, I just took a short video. I thought I'd just show you again because I am thoroughly impressed as well with this Lemkin disc. You know, all I'm doing is disking up these uh, potato vines. You know, this is where we did potatoes. Across the road over there, we did potatoes. But you can just see how, I mean, I'm not going super deep. I'm smoothing it out because we're gonna haul manure on here in the spring. And then I'm going to plant grain, uh, some uh, winter wheat, or not winter wheat, some hard red spring wheat. Uh, maybe a variety called hammer is what we're looking at. But just look how good, you can see where I've gone, where I haven't gone. You know, I'm going uh, nine and a half mile an hour. Um, yeah, it's just doing a great job. You know, it's, uh, I can't complain. To go from that over there to this, I mean, it is, uh, you can't ask for much better. I mean, we're just smoothing it out and uh, cleaning it up, but hey, it's doing a good job. So again, here, you know, one thing that it will do for the winter, because it will hopefully be covered in snow, but by working in these potato vines, Okay, just working them into the ground, they'll break down into the soil and uh, give you a little bit of organic matter in the soil. And I'll show you here, I'll take some more videos when we get onto a hay field, uh, or a field that I'm gonna plant hay in next year. And uh, it was a wheat field that's grown up, it has a lot of weeds, so we're gonna plant some Roundup Ready hay in it. But it's gonna look pretty cool too. Uh, when I get to disking that. So I think we'll try to put all these disking videos together, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's doing a phenomenal job. 
looks like I could go a little bit deeper. But uh, yeah, it's it uh, just makes the field look nice and clean and discs up those vines really well. I am in the 8370 RT and today, as Taryn mentioned in the last video, I am doing a lot of disking. But today, if you can see kind of here behind me, I am disking in the manure, which we weren't going to do and we, weren't, we don't really have to do. However, uh, so I'm in the track tractor. My dad's over here in the track tractor. But once again, it is not our track tractor that he's driving. So as a lot of you remember, we had our 9510 RT tractor the engine went down cmb operations they fixed it and we had it back out we only he only worked it for about 75 hours and it all of a sudden said oil pressure uh fault or low oil pressure he checked it and it was clear full but it was full of diesel so that usually happens when an injector goes bad or an injector cup Turns out it was an O-ring on one of the injectors went out or something happened with it. So it filled up the whole engine with diesel into the oil. And they had to haul it in back in. Luckily, it's under warranty. Like I said, it's only had 75 hours. Um, but let's see if I can get a better shot of what I'm doing here. But uh, there's my dad in the background you can see. So anyway, they hauled the tractor in and they brought a tractor out the same day for us to use. The tractor they brought us out for use is a 9460 RT. So it looks just like ours except for the tracks are only 2 feet wide instead of 3 feet wide. They're 24 inch tracks instead of 36 inch. And then he went from just ripping or chisel plowing uh, ground that we didn't haul manure on to ground that they had hauled manure on and he didn't have quite enough traction to go the right depth that we needed to go. We like to go 12 to 14 inches deep, maybe 15, you know, get, get her about that deep. It'll do that deep. Um, but on the manure, he just, the tracks were kind of slipping and he would shift a little bit. So what he started off doing in this field, he would go shallower, maybe eight or 10 inches or six or eight inches. And then he'd have to go back over it twice. And I thought, man, there's like 1500 acres left to do. If you have to go over the manure ground twice with this tractor, uh, it's not gonna be very efficient. And so I asked them about a bigger tractor and they said, we know that you are hauling manure and we don't want our nicer, bigger tractors covered in manure. Uh, the one that they loaned us was one that a farmer had traded in because the motor went out, they put a new motor in it and now they're just letting us use it to make sure everything works. Um, and really the track machines don't get covered in a whole lot of manure as far as the cabs and stuff goes, mainly the tracks. But, um, I said, well, let's see what it does. If I was to disc up the manure in front of you, if you don't slide around, you can get more traction. So we just started that today. <coughs> and he said he was able to go from like sixth or seventh gear to ninth gear. So he picked up a couple, two or three miles an hour. And so we figure right now it's worth it. Now I'm in the disc. I don't have to disc really deep because that's I'm just kind of working in the manure. I'm probably only going oh four or five inches deep. It's kind of like I was doing on the potato vines. Like I'm not I'm just working up the top of the soil. So I have my tractor set to ten and a half miles an hour right now, and it's going pretty much that. And he I would have to assume he's probably going maybe six or seven. I know I am going a little bit faster than him. There's no way he would catch me. Our implements are the same width. They're a Lemkin. This is a Karat 1000, uh, six meter. This is a Reuben 12, six meter. So they're both 19 and a half feet wide. 
uh, if you fit your on the feet. But uh, anyway, so that's why what I'm out here doing, I am disking up the manure. Here's a shot of what I'm doing. Um, again, it's working up, it's doing a good job because I'm going so fast. Um, this pass, for some reason, is lugging me down a little bit. Maybe, maybe it's going in a little deeper than it needs to, but I'm only going about nine, so. So that's kind of what uh, what we're out doing. I know Taryn mentioned that. Uh, my dad and I were trying to decide what to do. And uh, so for the moment, uh, maybe we get on a different field, but the problem is he's spreading manure on stubble ground. And so it's grain uh, that was grain that grew up. And then you put sloppy manure on top of it and it just gets, I mean, it's kind of like oh, driving your pickup or a four-wheeler or something on a wet lawn. How it's just, it's a little slick and then you get tracks, you know, that are 15 feet long or however long they are. And they have a lot of flotation, which is good because it's less compaction, but it also, it slips. You know, it's like you're try, drive a track tractor on ice or on, in mud. You know, they don't do as good as big wheel tractors. So anyway, it's working good now. It's just extra things that we didn't think we were gonna have to do. It gives me a little bit more acres. I'm gonna have to disc up to, to help him not have to go over it twice. It'd probably be better for me to hurry and bust this out, you know, work up the top so he can work up a lot quicker and uh, get done. So yeah, that's kind of what we're up to. Uh, a couple other things we're doing. I got uh, the international truck is in the shop. I had to get a part for it. So I, I should have videoed, but I have Brandy, my wife, in the 8330 and she is, has that pivot track filler hooked up. I don't know if we showed that at all. We have a pivot track filler that we used to use kind of between hay crops, but we're using it in the fall now. Fill the pivot tracks, they'll get firm and hard. And then in the spring when the pivots go around, they won't dig down so deep they won't miss it. Because her truck is the truck that is broke, um, she's actually pretty excited about driving the tractor. It's a little less stressful, a little easier. Uh, she's going slow, so she likes that job. She said she's ready to retire from hauling the door and just drive tractor. But uh, we do need lots of truck drivers at times. So. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna upload some of my other disking videos, and just kind of show you what I've been doing. So don't forget to like and subscribe, comment if you want to see more of what we're doing every day. We're trying to give you variety, but. Like Terrence said, if we're just hauling manure, it's kind of the same old, same old. And during harvest, it was hard to get videos out on a daily basis. It does take a lot of editing on his part. And so hopefully he doesn't have to edit this one too much. But, uh, anyways, we are uh, giving a lot of worms, it looks like, to the seagulls to eat. So, anyways, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one. Love ya.